Alright, stay tuned. In this video, we're going to talk about ground balancing and the equinox. Let's do it. Alright, with the equinox, the good news is, in most cases, you never have to touch it. Now, if you've never messed with the ground balance, you've probably noticed you cut it on, go to the beach, no noise. You go to the park and field, most of the time, 99% of the time, no noise. So the good thing about the Equinox is designed so the default setting is, is good where you don't have to even adjust it normally. Um, for example, it's set at zero for park, beach, and uh, field modes. And it's set for tracking ground balance on the uh, gold mode. And that's default. That's going to happen no matter what you do. So if you do want to change it, though, it only affects the uh, setting that you're on. So if you change it on, on the park mode, then it'll only stay on park. If you change it on beach mode, it'll only stay on the beach mode, and so forth. So when you change it, it's, it's for that particular mode that you're in. Now, there's three types of uh, uh, settings for ground balance. you got manual, automatic, and tracking. The tracking is default for the gold. Um, now, we're going to go through how to do it, but uh, if you haven't had any problems, I probably will not mess with it. Um, there's some areas, like we say, like a real heavily, heavily mineralized area or something, you may have to do it. But in, in most situations, you don't have to touch it. Now, as you know, you saw a detector I was testing the other day. It won't even work unless you ground balance it on the beach, you know. Uh, so it's not default for the beach on that particular detector, so you had to do it. So some, some detectors, you have to use that ground balance, or they won't work good at all. But this particular Equinox is designed for a user-friendly type setting where you go out and just Cut it on and go most of the time. So let's talk about and uh, show the three different types of settings for ground balance. Let's do it. All right, in this first lesson, I'm going to show you how to manually ground balance uh, the detector. So first thing you want to do, cut it on. We're in park mode right now. We're just going to show it in the park mode how to do it. So first thing you want to do is is uh, go over to where it is for ground balance. So what you do is you put this button right here. You see that first one come up, noise cancellation, and that's ground balance right there. So once you get there, the first thing you want to do is make sure you got a, a clear ground, which I already did right here. No iron. You don't want to try to ground balance with iron underneath the coal. So make sure you have a clear uh, ground right here. So we do have the clear ground. And what you want to do is pump it. And as you hear, it's a low tone. If it's a low tone, what you want to do is raise the value up. So here what we do is come up. And I kind of watch this. and I know kind of it's going to be higher than that. But. You still hear it just a little bit, so we're going to raise it up some more. And you'll keep playing with these numbers till you get it. See, now I'm getting a little bit of a high tone, so now we can come back down a little bit. Maybe just a couple more numbers up here. And now, maybe down a couple more. Now we should get no noise whatsoever now. So that is ground balanced for this area right now. That'd be a perfect ground bounce right there. So now what we do is just push this button to go back to detect mode, and we're ready to go. I got a little t target over here on the side over here. But anyway, that's how you mainly ground bounce, and that will stay in that mode. Now, once I go over to uh, uh, field here, it will it shouldn't show up. Now, if we go to ground bounce here, you see it's back to zero, because that's default. Default is zero, and it shows default. And same with the uh well let me get back here to the here uh and go over well what we'll have to do here is go back to the main system here and go over to beach now if we go to uh to uh, that speaker let's go back over here to yeah we'll get there right there ground bounce you see it's still zero and that's default for beach field and park so it's, it's still zero so that's set. And if you want to set beach up for a different number, you have to do it individually. Because once you set it for field, it does not affect beach. Like I said, each one is individual how you set it. So that's basically how you do the manual ground balance. So now let's go to the automatic ground balance. Okay, I reset the machine so it's zero on the ground balance. So we can go through the whole process again. I put it back on field mode right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to... Right there. So we're at the ground balance mode. To do an automatic ground balance, what you want to do is hold the accept reject button down right here. And then pump the detector and it should automatically start to calculate the proper setting for the area. So it's, it's kind of going up about a 35. 
34. So I think we had 33, didn't we? So it pretty much set it right where we had it doing the manual. Right, right close to it right there. So that's, a, that's automatic ground balance. The machine is actually detecting what it should set it at. And you can see it went right to where we had it on manual ground balance. So the machine's working good. It set it up on auto and we did it on manual. So it's the same numbers. That's, that's good. That shows you right there it's working good. Now let's talk about the tracking ground balance. All right, then I'll show you how to set it up for tracking ground balance. What that would do is it will actually automatically adjust the ground balance in the background. And uh, as, you, as you move along, it will adjust it depending on what kind of soil you're in. So let's set it up for that right now. And the first thing you want to do, of course, is go to, right down here, ground balance. Now, if you just click this button right here, set reject one time, you'll see a little icon come up right here, and that's the tracking ground balance. Let's show you. See that pop up right there? The machine is now in tracking ground bounce. We're going to go back to detecting. It stays there. When that, that's the one right there. It lets you know that you are in tracking ground bounce. Now, as I move, if I was to go over a really highly mineralized place versus a low mineralized place, the machine itself will automatically adjust for ground bouncing. So anyway, that's how you get the three types of ground bouncing on the Equinox. Now, let's talk about those in a general conversation when you should use them. Well, hopefully that little demonstration shows you how you can adjust the ground balance on your Equinox if you want to do it. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, I normally do not do not do the ground balance. I let the machine uh, go like it is. Never had really any problems. But now I'm starting to wonder if I get a little bit deeper if I do do a ground balance like in the field mode. So I'm going to have to be doing a little test on that in the future. Maybe I'll get Buddy uh, to keep his straight. Uh, our factory uh, default and then I'll ground balance mine and we'll do some targets together and see if it actually can go deeper when you ground balance. So that's a possibility there. We might be able to get a little deeper. So hey, learn every day. Uh, I don't know. I, you know I don't know everything about this stuff and I'm always learning. Uh, hopefully when I do learn something, I pass it on because I have found some good stuff and pass on and in this case here, I'm still learning and hopefully I'll, I'll test it out in the field and let you know how it goes and let you know if you really do need a ground balancer or not. So that, that's a key right there because um, right now it does fine right off the shelf. That's one good thing about the Equinox. I mean, a beginner can cut that thing on just about, use a factory mode and go and, and, and do okay with it. So uh, and that ground balancing, uh, it's got three types. You know, that uh, the tracking ground balance um, may be good. Like well, They do automatic defaults when you're in the uh, gold mode because there's so much mineralization around the gold mode. Everywhere you go, it's changing so much. That's why it's tracking there because it changes so much. But normally, like in a field mode, um, it will, um, it's the, it, that field will probably have a similar ground balance all over. But it's, it's set for zero. So right now, so if you change it, it could get better. Uh, I'm wondering now too, on the beach, using um, the tracking mode on the beach because as you go from uh, the dry sand to wet sand, ground balance is definitely going to change and that could make you get a little deeper on the beach. So I'd get buddy, we'll have to do a little testing on the beach mode too, uh, using the ground balance. So anyway, it's a learning experience. So I appreciate everybody coming along with me and uh, stay with me. We'll, we're going to learn. We're going to learn together. All right, don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. We're learning every day and new adventures every day. So stay tuned.